Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, hello. It's been a long time. I know. I know. It's been a long time. Where have I been? Well, I've been kind of focusing on the real life. And now that I've got it sorted out, I jumped back into Second Life. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's what I'm doing now. Well, I'll be playing Cross Out again eventually when the uh, new Battle Pass comes around. But right now, I'm in Second Life. And I just rented myself this handy dandy plot here. It's a nice, nice plot. See, uh, I paid up for a year. It was $99. Yeah, I know that's a lot of money. But for a year, that's not a lot of money. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's give you a little tour of this Westminster house. Let's see here. We're going to go inside. Oh, oh, let's turn that off. Okay, yeah, as soon as you enter the parcel, the music starts playing. This is the living room here. Which I plan on renovating. See, I'd already got the house and I got the colors just like I like it and I was like you know what I should record I should record this and put it up on my YouTube channel this is the the bedroom well with what I plan on being the bedroom anyway my balcony and my backyard yeah yeah you know what since we're gonna be cooped up in here moving everything in let's uh open the windows let some nice fresh air in here yeah you just uh when you want the blinds drawn you just click on the blinds up here or you click on them to take them off and then you click on the window it opens and closes All right, got these windows open already. Like I said, I, I was, I just, I, I'd already started doing stuff and then I was like, you know what, I should record this. So, let's get to it, shall we? Mm, let's see here. First things first. Uh, living room. Let's see if I've got anything here. Uh, that's, I think that's it. Mesh living room set. What happened to it? Where'd it go? Yeah, here we go. All right. Uh, now, you know what? I'm going to set up the kitchen first. I want to set up the kitchen first. Hey. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff in my inventory here. A lot of stuff in my inventory. Boom. All right, there's the kitchen. If memory serves me correctly, when I click one of these, it's not gonna yeah yeah okay see how this side is highlighted but this side is not and the this the stove is not highlighted and it's because they're not linked together so you, i gotta click on all of these individual little items here and now that they're all highlighted now i can move it all as one piece oh uh camera is too far up uh, rotate. We are going to rotate this shit. Oh, oh, I didn't get the stove. I thought I got the stove. Let's control Z. There, now I got the stove. All right. How much? 
much space do we got behind? Oh, I really gotta, I gotta fix that rotation. How's that? That looks good. Okay. Now we gotta move it. Let's move it over against the wall. It's too far. You see how it's clipping through the wall there? It's too far. All right, that should be good. Now let's move it back. Oh, too far. Let's give it a little angle. That might help it. Uh-huh, it's going too far back, but that's because the rotation's off just a little bit, so let's fix that rotation. Oh. Okay, and now let's pull it forward just a tad to bring in that splash. There we go. All right, there we go. There we go. Fantastic. Look at this. Very nice. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's that's right. That's right. This section of the kitchen counter has not had... Okay. It's... We're going to build, we'll drop one of these down right here. Okay. The reason I'm doing this is because this section of the kitchen counter has not had its uh, object solidified like it's physical. And um, if we, if we just click that and we try to make it physical, it, watch what happens. Something weird happens to it. Boop. Ah, <laughs> you see? Isn't that weird? All right. So uh, we're going to hit Control Z on that to put it back in its place. We're going to unphysicalize it. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to take this little block that I just dropped into place. And we are going to make a manual physical thing thing I'm a bobber here. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, I just no realized that the kitchen is not on the ground. So let's get it on the ground. All right, let's pull that down just a bit until things start disappearing into the ground. There we go. All right, now that's done. We can get back to this thing. We're going to create my own manual physical barricade so that people can't walk through the countertop. Let's see here. All right. And we're gonna do this just to make sure nobody can walk through the counters uh, okay and now we are going to make it transparent bingo done
Now let's see. Can I walk through it? Nope. And nobody else can walk through it either. Fantastic. All right. Lovely. Lovely. I love it. Uh, let's see here. All right. So we got the kitchen out done. And now we are going to put down our sofa. Yeah, this is a nice sofa. Make sure it's out of the way of the door over here. Okay, it is out of the way of the door. Very nice. Uh, let's, uh, so while we're in this living room set, let's put out the rug. Pull the rug out so it doesn't clip through the wall. Fantastic. Okay. Now I need my dining table. Here we go. Black chrome. That's what I, I'm pretty sure that's the dining table I'm looking for. I've got a couple tables, but this black chrome table is the one I like the most. Let's move that so it's underneath the couch. There we go. Okay, black chrome dining table. Oh, that's up in the air. Let's move that down. Let's move the camera down. Okay, dining table. Now let's rotate it just a little bit. I mean, 90 degrees, just a little bit. Does that look good? I think that looks pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I need a chair, so we're gonna look up some chairs here. This is a, I think this is the chair I like the most. Yeah, it's the chair I like the most. All right, you know what? I'm gonna sit in it. Actually, I know I need to back that up. Let's back it up just a bit. Now I'm going to sit in it to see exactly what I need to do. Yeah, see my knees are hitting the table. My knees are hitting the table and I need to adjust. Uh, we'll adjust later. Yeah. You see how there's a gap here between my butt and the cushion? That means I need to adjust some things. I'll adjust that later. But for now, let's, uh, I'm going to hit Control D, and that's going to duplicate the chair. See, I got a duplicate of the chair there now. Let's move this guy over here. And we're going to rotate. Uh, let me sit. Oh, I think I think we need to move it. Oh, geez. 
Hey, Poop Shooter just caught, came online. Fantastic. I think I'll hit them up after I'm done here if they don't hit me up first. All right. Now I'm going to sit in it. And again, knees are hitting the table. So let's back it up. That should be okay. Female one, female two, all right, pretty good, pretty good, okay, uh, let's see here. Bookcase. No, 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 no. There we go. Mm-hmm. Get that rotated into place. Yeah, that's a good rotation. I might not need to fix that. We'll see here after I'm done moving it into place. Looking pretty good. All right. Let's uh, let's put two of those there. I don't like how there's, there's still too much space on the walls with just one there. So let's put two of them there. We're going to move that over and we're going to control D to duplicate it. And move it back until it lines up. I think it needs to move back just a little bit more. Too much. Too much. There we go. Just right. Okay. Shift click. Both of them together. And let's center that. Fantastic. Okay. You know what? I need to bring that uh, living room back up. Black and gray. I think there's a floor lamp in here. Let's see here. Is there a floor lamp? It's tree, armchair, bookshelf, coffee, lamp. No, that's a table. I don't want a table. Let's see here, floor lamp. Oh, that was in the kitchen. You know what? I want some music. We're going to have to turn it down just a little bit. Oh, man. Can you guys still hear me? I hope you can hear me. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Just in case. There we go. Streaming music. Let's turn that down. Turn this back up. All right, can you still hear me? I might have to talk a little bit louder. There we go. And 
let's duplicate that lamp. Oh, duplicate failed because it's switched on. Now let's duplicate it. Huh, I can't copy it. Why can't I copy it? How weird. Normally I can copy these things. It might be no copy. Let's see here. General. Oh, it is copy. See, I can copy it. That's weird. It's not letting me copy. Oh, you know, I should I should show you guys this. Um, when you get your own bit of land, you've got a certain amount of, uh, they call it prims in this game, prims. Prims are uh, objects, and some objects have only one prim. Some objects have a hundred prims. So you got to be careful with what you're putting out because you can only use a maximum of, you know, whatever of the house it is that you buy. I bought the house that came with 351 prims. So that's the maximum amount of land impact that I can do is 351 prims. You got to count your prims when you're putting things out. And I, I wasn't doing that. Um, kind of slipped my mind until just now. Thankfully, most of the stuff I have is what we call low prim or low land impact. Uh, I'm going to put the TV up last. I'm going to wait to put the TV up because I got to kind of fiddle around with that. Let's go upstairs, shall we? Okay. Yeah. Let's see here. Bedroom. Yeah, here it is. Blue bedroom. That's right. I think blue will go good with this rose color that I picked. This, this kind of pink rose color that I picked. I like that color. Don't, don't judge me. Yeah, I'm a guy and I like the color of rose. Color of roses. Let's see here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's what I want right there. Uh, oh, hopefully, hopefully this lost and found version will fit in here. Pretty sure. That's the black wardrobe. Oh, man. Uh, oops. Oops. I think I'm kind of screwed. I might have to go get a new bedroom. Because the last time I had it set up, I just hit return all and it kind of linked them all together. Because... Yeah. All right. All right. All right. 
Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, for some odd reason, my computer stopped recording when I went to the internet to buy that bedroom and I didn't realize it. And I, I still didn't realize it until I went to stop recording and the button wasn't there to stop recording. So I went and I set up my whole bedroom without you guys here to watch me do it. See, I got my bedroom set up. I got a nice bed. I got this wardrobe here. I got a piano and a desk. And not only did I do that, but uh, I did a whole bunch of stuff without realizing it was recording. Like I did like a whole other 30 minutes. See down here, this is my practice mat where I can do my yoga and my karate practicing. And over here, I set up an outdoor shower so I can shower up after I'm done doing my yoga and karate, as well as shower up after I'm done working on this beast. Yeah, I put this guy out. I put some hedges out. One thing, one last thing I need to put up here. Yeah, I'm going to put this guy up. That's something that's always that I always thought was cool is that these sims these these plots of land have atmosphere so it's got wind and things are blowing in the wind Let's go downstairs. You know what we're going to do? No, I'm not going to take a shower in front of all of you. I'm just going to dip around the corner here really quick. And I'm going to put on my mechanic garb. Where is it at? All right. Oh, I got stuff peeking through the jacket here. Let's take care of that. Toggle both arms. All right, legs are toggled off. 
toggle the shoulders off. All right, there we go. I got my hedges up. <sighs> Not what I wanted to do. Stretch. There we go. Oh, walking over my car. Man, the lighting's really like Screwing around. What's going on with the lighting? Uh, let's change it to. And you can change the lighting. There we go. I think this is where we're going to leave everybody today. Oh, got some holes underneath my jacket here. That should take care of that. That should take care of that. There we go. Gonna leave her to work on our car. I really appreciate all of you sticking around. I know that you only got to see me put together the living room here. Oh, you know what? I said I was going to put up a TV, didn't I? Let's put up a TV. TV. What side is what? That's the front right there. Something tells me I need to fix that rotation. Rotate. I don't know. Might have been perfect. All right, that might be it. And with this wonderful television, we get to watch YouTube. Hey, hey, bring back that television. There we go. It's just a little delay in using it. It was a free television. Yeah, this is one of my favorite channels to watch is You, Me, and the Movies. Uh, 
And I come here to watch Lost. It's one of my favorite TV shows ever. See, you got the playlist there. It's got 60 videos. Sit down and watch some Lost. And when I'm done with that, go out to the clubs, dance around a little bit. All right, fantastic. Fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And maybe if you want to join Second Life, you can hit me up and we can roam around this huge, huge place. Uh, ser okay, seriously, uh, Second Life is somewhat dead. There's still some places around with uh, some, some livelihood to them. So if you join Second Life and you roam around, it's mostly going to be empty places. Uh, I roam around and I wonder like how some of these places are still active or at least still on the grid. Who's paying for them? Where's that money coming from? They've been sitting there for years with no activity. Anyways, if you want to join me on Second Life, just let me know. Hit me up in my discords and my comments and on the Facebooks. Just let me know and we'll roam around together. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.